he was having a good time, things got out of hand, and then before he knew it, um, he was out in the parking lot. And we live an hour away, so that's kind of troublesome as a parent. Tonight, parents are expressing concerns after a lock-in event at Adventure Action Park abruptly ended in the middle of the night. Parents weren't supposed to pick their kids up until 7 a.m. this morning. Reporter Grace King spoke with some of the kids who were in attendance. And Grace, what was that like for them? Sean, they told me it was a fun night at first, but before long, fight after fight started to break out. And that's when police were called in. In the middle of the night, chaos and confusion. I heard something about like people fighting, and I mean, I obviously didn't know because I was nowhere near the fights. I was jumping. A night of fun. We were riding the go-karts and having a good time. Quickly turning into a scary experience. And there was another fight and then another fight. Melissa Witter's 12-year-old son was scared. These fights kept happening here, there, here, there. They finally locked themselves in a one-person bathroom stall. There were five or six of them in there just to remove themselves from the situation. Adventure Action Park said in a statement that it called the Knoxville Police Department because guest conduct was not in line with expectations. They couldn't handle it. The, the employees, they tried to, but they couldn't. And eventually it got so bad that they just had to throw us out. Adventure Action Park says the hostile environment grew to a point where officers advised them to shut down the event and clear the building for the safety of all. The kids that weren't tied up with the situation were just kind of left to fend for themselves. So it was it was disturbing. Disturbing for a large group of kids who just wanted to have fun. And it was kind of just annoying because we were just there to have fun and then we had to leave because of people being stupid. And in all the chaos, KPD says one officer was hit by a boy. That kid was taken into custody and charged with simple assaults and evading arrest. Sean.